compare for a layman like me and for all the viewers who are watching compare google with perplexity for me yeah. what are the weaknesses which google has yeah and those are the weaknesses or the gaps that you guys have seen and yeah. you are solving it for it yeah so the median number of words on a google search is like 2 to 3 words mm -hmm. I, i think 2.3 words maybe the median number of words on a perplexity search is like 10 words so um people on google like if you actually go to trends.google.com and and look at the top one not the rising ones the top ones are always like single word searches amazon instagram reddit tiktok mm -hmm. weather score cricket you know it's like single word searches um and that tells you what people are mostly doing they're just navigating the web you know sometimes they ask like very quick fa fast facts like such into nook or age or something you know you just quickly get it right there but you're not asking questions like oh like uh what how many times has tendulkar uh scored a um 100 and india has lost a match you, you're probably not going to get it quickly on google yeah. it'll give you a bunch of links you have to open them you have to read and parse and figure out you can ask those kind of questions on perplexity you can ask such an tenuker age also on perplexity but there's going to be some overlap in the searches that we can share but there are just going to be some searches that are clearly better done on google which is the quick fast navigation and there are going to be some searches that are better done on perplexity which is actual answers to questions yeah. now you can ask me how many people are really asking these kind of complicated questions today not so much we get 20 million queries a day and you know maybe like 80% of them are like pretty deep questions but over time it's going to grow you're not just going to ask those kind of weird esoteric questions you're going to ask things like oh like uh, how do i fix my uh, how do i renew my other card i'm i'm actually outside the us or like my passport tore and like i i'm i'm stuck stuck in this country what what do i do like these are the kind of questions that are going to like grow yeah and i think uh you're not going to go to google to that for two reasons one is Google uh was never like meant for that. It's ingr ingrained in you is not that user habit yet. So that muscle memory is not something that we're competing with. So we can actually like be the product go to product for that. Number 2 is even if they ship things like AI review or like answers right there, it they don't actually know when to like um do that when when not to and it becomes a uh you know like a kitchen sink of so many different UIs in one search page which really frustrates the user mm -hmm. and it actually competes with their ad business uh and, and like revenue traffic right so um that's where i think we have a clear opportunity and this category of searches is going to grow uh exponentially in the next 5 to 10 years and we won't be the only person to capture that market i think chat gpt will also compete even though chat gpt started off as a writing tool mm -hmm. they're also like going more towards these kind of uh, prompts and gemini will also be a player in this but it's going to be a pretty interesting uh new market that's emerging yeah so without even knowing about this you're right i use perplexity for this only like and it's so subconscious that i use it for xyz reason because probably the first time i asked question it showed me the kind of answers which made me ask more deeper question yeah so i would really go on google and be like hey such an dendulkar's age or yeah. uh, how much this person spending or whatever like some random yeah. very easy one word kind of answer yeah and then i would go on perplexity and be like okay what's a specific core message of this person in this speech in this year right and then this is the specificity i go to yeah. and then i get an answer yeah by the way uh i i would say just you know like for the correctness of it both sides will do what the other side is doing like we'll be we, we'll try to get even faster at like quick fast facts like such a tenuk was age or um how much did the india spend on transportation those kind of like things um and make the experience better for you so that you don't have to go somewhere else for those questions like why even the user burden of deciding when to use what tool yeah um and at the same time google will also try to get better at like you know like like hmm. pull ups that require multiple hops of reasoning so both things are going to happen and that's why it's interesting moment for the user like uh of like who's going to deliver the best orchestrated product 
Is it the one that's starting from answers? Or is it the one that already has links in these one box answers? Nobody knows, right? Because you can argue in both favor, like the more general system can build the final solution faster mm. versus the legacy system that's trying to like, you know, layer and things together. Mm. What would beating Google be like? It would feel amazing. Like there, and I, I was definitely inspired by Larry and Sergey a lot and the founding story of Google, the academic roots that deeply inspired. I mean, I've worked as an intern there, both DeepMind and Brain, and a lot of the Google culture, the engineering focus. Mm. I'm a big fan of that. So it would feel great to have a product that, uh, look, I think the true test is if even people within Google, like Google employees and their kids, they all use perplexity instead of Google because it's a better product, not because they want to like, they, they, they stop liking Google and they yeah, move yeah. for it. But like they truly, there's no other choice. You have to use it because it's a better product. I think that is the true, true uh, benchmark and that's going mm. to take a while. But what would it look like? Like, okay, so you said it'll be feel amazing, mm -hmm. but what would it look at? Like, at what point will you know that, okay, we have done better job? I, I Give me two, like, three markers. Yeah, like, so today we do like 20 million daily queries, right? Hmm. Uh, it has to get to like uh, two hours of magnitude more, like two billion. Now you can say it's even that's lower than what Google does. Like I think Google does like around six to eight, something like that. But uh, because of the query length here, mm. uh, I, I would say that we, we've done the job. Um, and uh, you can see it, right? like, look, the, the younger generation has less loyalty to Google as, mm. as we do. So they're actually, the older generation allows these voice to voice systems. The younger generation also allows using these uh, conversational systems. So we're, so I think it's going to be very interesting to see how the behavior of the new generation changes. Uh, so, so one way to mark like a marker is like, what, what, what product do they use when they grow up? Uh, I, and my prediction is it won't be all Google. Let's play the long game here. Like it's not necessary to win every single user. Yeah. Um, and I think that mentality of like, Oh, I'm the next Google means I need to have 90% market share should go away. I think no one's going to be that next Google. So when I say we are competing with Google, I'm only saying about the core search experience, yeah. not the alphabet unit or the Google stock. So a lot of people like use this, you know, criticism for us saying like, oh, like look at this competitor, but then Google stock keeps going up. Okay. Listen, like they have like so many other businesses and I'm not saying the stock's going to go down ever. Like it's a safe investment to make. They have Waymo. They have like so many new businesses that are coming up deep mine. Uh, alpha fold like quantum chips so it's, it's a great company but the core search product for the first time ever in like two decades uh is clearly under threat if, if it was not under threat they wouldn't be doing like uh, gemini ai overview right thank you so much ye clip end tak dekhne ke liye agar aapko aur bhi aisi clips dekhni hai to raj shamani clips channel ko subscribe kar lijiye